Hello everybody. In today's video I will show you how to use the value operator in ABAP. I show how you can quickly and easily fill ranges or internal tables with initial values. In my example today I use a range. A range in ABAP is basically a special internal table that is used in select options or in select statements with where in. So let's start with the declaration of the range. So I write here data lr b name. B name is the username. Type range of b name. Next, I need a structure ls b name. Like line of lr name and first I show you the old way with out value and then I show you the, the new way with the value operator and you will see that we save uh, many lines of code with the new version. So now we have to fill the structure with values and a line of a range consists of following fields, sign, option, low and high. And I write yes, now sign is I. Next, LSB name option is E Q for equal and LSB name low is the name of a user, in my example, dev user. And now we have to append this structure to the range. So I write here append lsb name to lrb name. And let's add another record. And for this, we use the same structure. So let's clear this here. And let's copy the code here. And paste it and sign and option is the same. On, we only change the def user, the low value to def user 2. So now we uh, have created two entries in our range. And let's display the range with CL demo output display and here I write the name of the range LR B name okay let's activate the code and run the program and we see here our range with two entries Okay, this was the old way of filling a range or internal table. And now let's use the value operator. So I write here LRB name, value, hashtag, and uh, Every entry I want to add, I have to put in brackets. So I write here, sign is I option is EQ and low 
is diffuser. And let's uh, copy this line of code. First, uh, close the close with a bracket. And now let's change the use the low value to def user two. And let's command the old code. And we don't need this structure. And now we see how many uh, lines of code we can command. And let's run the program and the result is the same. The range with two records. And there is another option we can use with the command base. Um, we can use the, the base command if we want to create a second range and I want to copy the values of the first range to the second range. So I declare here a, a second range and then I write here value hashtag and then I write base and the name of the first range LRB name and uh, I can also add other entries here. So the base are the values of my first range and I add here uh, another, not another value sign I option EQ and uh, low is def user 3. And uh, let's add another value. Let's copy this line. And Paste it here. And we are right here, def user four. And we activate the code and we want to display the second range as well. So I copy this line and I write here LRB name two and here I have to change the method, I have to write. So let's activate and run the program. And we see the two ranges, the first range with the two records. And the entries of my first range are the basis of my second range. And you can also see the newly added entries. Yes. We see we can save uh, many lines of code with the new option. Yes, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments. I always enjoy reading them. Until next time, thank you and see you soon.